Hello, my name is the Retro Gaming Goose, and welcome back to part seven of my playthrough of Pokemon Ruby version. Let's just get straight into it. We just got fly, uh, Surf. Yeah, I remember where we are now. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. Just bear me one second while I sort out my uh, sort out my volume. Ah, oh, it's coming out of the TV as well. Bear me one minute. Move. Right, what is the best? What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can go... Let's go down... So I'm still just trying to sort out the TV while walking along. There we go. And then this should be better for everyone. It should no longer be coming out the TV and just out of my computer. Right, let's go... Oh, he's not. He's in sleep. Sleep port of all places. Okay. Right, we're gonna go. What's the easiest way for us to go? What do you think? What do you think? I was hoping I could get a ride to Staple. But what we are gonna do today is go get one of our final moves for Swampert. Uh, and in that, we're gonna go get um, Ice Beam, because I know exactly where it is, and you don't need anything much. I think if I'm gonna start surfing now, what we can do start training up Electric because he needs to look good. Oh wow. I really wasn't expecting that. We got almost one hit of KO be there. Okay. There's gonna be plenty of battles. I just wanted to quickly check if there's a uh... So in some of the Pokemon games, I don't think you can do it in this one, but definitely in Emerald, you can do rematches. Just while we're here, It'll probably give us something else just as useless as you did last time. It was a timeable, really. Cool. Easy. Right, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go this way because there's a trainer over here. I can't do that mid fight. Nice. Okay, let's keep going. Heal up electric.
Are we around the back? No. Pretty simple, this challenge. In we go, get the scroll, profit. I really wasn't that hard that one. You gotta think about like this guy in reality. This uh, trick house man. And he literally has a house on the side of a popular cycling route that he tricks kids to come inside and then traps them. You know, like that's a bit weird. Right, please, please can we just get a soothe bell? In fact, I'm so desperate to get a super, I'm going to give my Pokemon some Pokeblocks. I promised myself I wouldn't come in here, but I have them. Where do I get the Pokeblock case from? Hopefully my mush dog is happy enough. Well, he's not to get the bloody suit bonus. All I want. I was talking to the wrong person this whole time. I don't believe it. I actually feel like such an idiot. Right, gold bat, there we go. Soon I'll have my crowbat. Soon I will be able to absolutely reap on everyone because crowbat is great. Much better in later generations. But still pretty good. Right, let's go. I'll take the shortcut. Bump into Watson. I think that's the smoothest I've ever cycled. Cycled here. Let's have a look. Marsh jump up from. Let's go into the desert. We'll get the fossil. We'll battle a few people. See if we can get my. Oh, I knew what I was supposed to do. I said I was going to get ice beam. Right. Right. Let's do. Let's do the desert first. Then we'll go back to sleep. Get the ice beam. And we'll go from there. It seems like a pretty decent idea. I think we're probably going to stop this episode around the time we get to the Weather Institute. I might not actually do any of the Weather Institute. 
save that for the next episode. Wait, my truck doesn't get affected by the by the sandstorm because he's a ground type. Completely forgot about that. Destroyed him. Just keep sending them out, I'll keep putting them down. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, if I could be bothered, I would 100% train up a Trapitch into a Flygon. I absolutely love Flygon. It's my second favourite like Pokemon in the third generation. But there's just no space for you in this team. I used to really like Sand Slash when I was younger. When it, when it was just the original Gen 1 Pokemon, Sand Slash was like top 10 for me. I thought it was cool. I just think it's neat. Oh, I tried to cut that out of the mic, but I think I just sneezed everywhere. So I do apologise if that just burst everyone's eardrums. Right, so later on. When I be, if I can be bothered to do it, 
This is where you come to get Reggie Rock. I think it might be Reggie Steel. One of them. One of the Reggies. <coughs> oh, sorry again. There's nowhere near my. No, near able to get my. Turn my microphone off for that one. Oh. Okay, we need to go get Ice Beam. We're going to get Ice Beam in a minute. I just need to remember where the fossils are in here. Here they are. Okay, which was this? Root Fossil. Let's take the Root Fossil. Because the other one I can't be bothered to train up. There we go, okay. Okay. Right, let's actually go and get the. Uh, what I need to do. I will talk to Winston on the way back because I'm pretty sure there's some good TMs you can get in the uh, in the whatever it's called power plant, and I can keep sort of leveling up uh, Swampert as well. Tell me how to slow down. I'm definitely going to switch to the acro bike as well because the match bike is just painful. Okay, so we'll put an electric up front just for the time being because we're about to go through a shitload of water. So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's here, I think. Let's get to the abandoned ship. And on the way, we're gonna. We're not gonna murder him, but we're gonna battle a few trainers. He says, missing out the trainer. Let's see what level they are. Hopefully, they're not. Twenty-six. Yeah, there's gonna be some good leveling. <laughs> I can't remember what level Electric evolves. I think it's twenty-four, but it might not be. Oh. Nice. Ah, oh, they're both going down. Of course, protect. Please don't protect yourself, you to fly. Literally did nothing. Oh, and you're paralyzed. Okay, and uh, let's keep. <laughs> oh, 
have like, a bit of a blocked nose because I've been sneezing so much. I don't know what it is though. It's like, at the time of recording, it's the middle of September. Has it just got like really high special defense as well? Ugh. Great, now they're both poisoned. And I don't think I have any antidotes. Right. No, I don't have any heals poisoning. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna have to use this on Electrike just because he's the one that I need to level up. And if Lousman passes out, it's all right, I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, so it doesn't matter too much. So I probably don't have any at all. My only hope is Zigzagoon. Have you picked up a full heal? Rare candy? Poor, oh, putting some weight, aren't you? No, we've got burn heal, haven't got anything else. Alright, let's have a look. How far are you away from leveling up? Too close, okay. I think he evolves at level 24 or 25. I'm just gonna have to deal with it for a bit. It's the main reason why I want to always heal poison, is because of how annoying that screen jolt is. Nice. And we'll use a rare candy just to speed up the process. Nope, must be level 25 or 26 or something. Might even get another level up in this rate. Hit it with a thunder wave, because I, I don't want this big boy moving around. Send out your other tentacle, see what happens. Nothing, nothing's going to happen. Let's 
Sweet. Nice. Level 25. No, no one wants Oda Sleuth. It's a rubbish move. Now, are you going to evolve electric? No. Guess it's a few more levels then. I know it's in the 20s. It's definitely in the 20s it evolves. Right, let's keep going. Let's go get this. God, that's going to be annoying. Right, 108. And the abandoned ship is somewhere around here. I've only got two PP for Spark. So I'm gonna have to use one of my ethers. Right. So you go up here, avoid pretty much all of this, sorry about the screen, down, across, back up, bow. <coughs> Level 27 now. Grab that storage key. And then we need to let's just talk to him so he says. Not being funny, but he is hanging in like a trooper considering how he's poisoned. Is it though? Looks like it was pretty effective. I forgot how he ever had rock team on him. I don't know what Wish is gonna do. Heal you? Solid. 
No, no one wants to knock off rubbish move. Just in time for Laudrin to pass out. Right, we come down here. We'll battle this guy. As always, we fund a wave it if it's a Whelmer. Just because I don't trust it. This is what we wanted. It's exactly what we wanted. The team is coming together and it looks beautiful. TM13, that is Ice Beam. Can I teach it to Marsh Dump? No, or do I have to wait until it evolves into a Swampert? <coughs> Let's find out. Oh, we can teach it to it now. And now he's got ridiculous coverage. So we'll get rid of. Oh, what's that? You know what, we'll get rid of Mud Shot. So now he's got Strength for a good physical attack. He's got Ice Beam for coverage against Grass and Flying types and Dragon types. All I need now is Earthquake and he's got the best water move in the game. He's an absolute monster, literally. He's gonna be able to take on so much, like most of Steven team. because we need you to get to about level 30 for the next gym. Okay, let's go and do the the electric uh, power station and then we'll get up to the Weather Institute and that's where we're going to end this. Just after the Weather Institute. I want to do the power station because I'm pretty sure you can get some good electric moves in there and I'm going to change over from the march bike to the acro just because solid oh 
Oh my god, come on. I know this is my own fault for not having any repels, but... I'm just gonna have to one-hit KO you. You are aware. Too powerful. Okay. Oh, it. Ugh. Oh, I thought it was on the beach. Oh well, let's beat up this little girl and then we'll... No, I still stand by like the vast majority of Pokemon's issues can be resolved with a swift punch in the face. Like Team Magma, T like Team Magma's trying to heat up the planet, and you're at the top of a volcano. He's like, "I'm gonna do it." But you have to battle me, and I'm like, "I won't go battle you. I'm just gonna hit you until you stop doing it." But then that's me. That's probably why I would never make a very good, particularly good Pokemon trainer. Oh my god, I hate this bike so much. I much prefer it in the in the remakes of this game, in Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby or whatever they're called, where you have one bike that can change speed. It's so good. Like you could literally just you press like B and it slows down, like the acro, or you press Alright, let's get the bike first because it's driving me crazy. It's too slippery. Yes, please. Give me the other bike, please. Thank you. Thank you, suave man. I always think it's like uh, the guy out of The Simpsons. The, the lawyer. Yes, I'll go do your generator. Basement key. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out... This is when I'm going to immediately regret having a... Uh, I thought Ziggs was going to pick something else up then. This is when I'm going to immediately regret having um, changed out mud shot for Dig. Magnemite. There's going to be a lot of Pokemon in here, I just know it. Voltorb, go away mate, no one likes you. You're a boring basic Pokemon from Gen 1. I don't think I've ever known anyone to be like, Voltorb's my favourite Pokemon. Or Electrode. His name's literally Volt Ball. Like orb. Like he's literally an orb that's full of voltage. How dumb. So I'll stop hating on the original 151 Pokemon. I know I know it's sacrilege to say anything about the Kanto Pokemon. But you know. But people just have to admit that Kanto Pokemon aren't like aren't that great like they, they it, 
it never it's never a good first time. That's why Johto and Hoenn are so much better, because they had time to think about it. Planned it properly. <clears throat> uh, it should roll me two more levels, I think, and then I'll have a beastie swamp hurt. Honestly, there's so many. I'm gonna hit you with a. You hit me with a screech? I know I can just keep hitting him with digs, but I feel like there's gonna be bigger fish to fry. the way out. I think it needs to go this way. Ah, oh, why didn't I stock up on my pearls? No, I don't need to stock up on my pearls because I'm trying to train. Self-destruct? I should hear that. Oh, stop. She's doing good though. Heal him up with some super potions. That's what I need to stock up on as well before I head off up the next bit, is just healing potions. Stop, please, stop. I'm getting so sick of these Magnemites, man. I know I'm supposed to be training up, but I just can't take it anymore. Power line seal, excellent. I'm not going to tread on that switch because that blocked me up up there. This is going to be an electrode, electrode, maybe? Nope, just a Voltorb. Just your friendly Voltorb. Good thing I just picked up a paralyzed heal. Ah, oh, my days. Just let me like move more than like a three feet before I get into an encounter, please. Can't escape. Brilliant. Still can't escape. I didn't want to have to do this Voltorb, I tried to move twice and you were just like, no, tackle, tackle, screen. This is a new Voltorb. That's your fault, buddy. Like you all saw that, I didn't. I tried to save him, I tried to leave and it was like, no, I'm gonna keep fighting. It's not too bad, this one's on me. Damn straight, it doesn't affect Marsh Dump because he's a ground type. You need to hit me with a grass move to absolutely ruin me.
Brilliant. Excellent. And I need to step on this switch. Oh, just let me, please, just let me go further than five feet. These are the type of encounters I really dislike. Like dungeons that are just constant. Can't move anywhere. Encounter, encounter, encounter. Drive me mental. I mean, the new Pokemon games don't have this. It's ridiculous. Oh, stop. I thought there was some good TMs in here, but it turns out there's nothing. And I, for one, am outraged by that. Thunderstone. Don't need it, do I? Not really. Let me just let me get out, please. I'm gonna have to battle my way out of this place. have any repels because this is driving me crazy there's too many encounters in such a short space of time like how do you get anything done down here also who runs a power plant when they've got this many wild pokemon just about no wonder the place is abandoned Is there anything? No, there isn't. And then I can go long stretches of time like this without touching anyone. How strange. I just wanted to see what that was, to be fair. Oh, I did need to press that. Oh, just please let me out. Please. I've got no more digs left after this. And I'm not using an elixir, elixir on dig. Just not doing it. Not when I can kill these Pokemon other ways. Thank you. 
What I, I just said a minute ago as well, didn't I? That's right, Killer Magnetic Surf. Barely worth my time, that was. I can't even listen to the actual song in the background because there's so many encounters in here. get to level 32 before I get out of here and I think 32 is when he evolves. It's either 32 or 36. My heart's going with 32 but my brain says 36 so we'll find out in a minute. I've got eight more encounters left in me before I have to swap him out. No I've got more than that because I can just start using strength. We'll see how well it does. It doesn't do that well. Ice Beam's gonna do nothing. Oh, this is gonna be the last encounter before I escape. Should get me to level 32. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. Good critical hit, buddy. Level me up. Please evolve, because then this is worth it. Nope, it's 36, it evolves. Great. Well, we're almost there, though, so it's not too bad. Right, so now we're here, we need to keep training up Manatric. And then after Manatric, it's going to be Gold Bat into Crobat, and then I'll just power train the other two for a bit. There's plenty of Pokemon for us to destroy in the next couple of bits of the game. Oh, that's where you get it from Thunderbolt. Excellent. That's what we need to teach. Ninety-five, yeah, light day. Now he's an absolute machine. Okay, let's cross. Right, what we're actually going to do, I've decided, is we're going to battle these people. And then from there, we're going to save it and then we're going to do the rest of it and the rest of this route another time. I did say I was going to go to the Weather Institute, but I just can't bother. We've already been an hour. Almost coming up to an hour. But okay.
Nice. And he's dead. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna finish off this interview. So last time was Amber, this time we're gonna go with Kadabra. Can I only see a Pokemon that I've seen? Make it make sense. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. That has been part seven. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and there's plenty of more Pokemon videos coming out very soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.